mistakes kind of got us down, I think, a little bit. Mm -hmm. And but for the most part, we were we were pretty had high energy and we're ready to go. Yep. Uh, this was a rematch of last year, right? Uh, when you saw Winona, what did you know about Winona coming in and how uh, tough a team they were? I didn't know much about them because I had just transferred here this year. Okay. And but from what I understand, they're a good ball club and they're just coming in ready to play. Mm -hmm. What did you? How tough was their pitcher uh, as he went on, uh, especially in the middle? He innings? definitely got stronger yep. as he went on, and uh, I mean we were we were getting good pitches to hit and just couldn't get timely hits. Yep. Was oh, he, oh, go ahead. Was he keeping a little off balance with, his, with that curve, or what else was he throwing outside of that curve? He kind of, mixed up pretty well going inside and outside, and uh, you know just staying on the corners of the plate. Well. We haven't put a lot of runs up all year. We, we haven't been that type of team. We've been uh, a team that pitches it and plays good defense, and we have to rely on some execution and some timely hitting, and, and we, get, we had a hit and run play. Dusty hit the gap. We scored from first on the play. Uh, we came back with another, I think Nordine got on in the next inning. Uh, when he got thrown out stealing, that was actually a hit and run play, and our hitter didn't swing the bat. That didn't make me very happy. You know, we our intent there with the lead was to apply pressure, whether we got thrown out or not, and, uh, and and force the tempo of the game. And when you fail to execute, even swinging the bat, um, you know, I thought it was a pitch. It was a difficult pitch on a hit and run play. It was a, a fastball in that had some run late, and I, and I understand why he took it, but you can't. I also thought, you know, we may have uh, his pocket was hitting. I, I think he could have rolled into it and maybe gotten hit. Uh, and the reason he didn't swing is it was a it was a difficult pitch to handle. We got thrown out. It's right on the catcher's throwing side, you know. And, and he made a good play. So, but even then, we got second and third in a tie ball game. And uh, you know, we need a sack fly. We need a we need a ground ball to second base. And you know, uh, Winona's a good team. They've got good athletes. I'm impressed with them. Uh, but it, it, it's different playing behind than even or ahead. And we had an opportunity to force them. To be behind again, they, they tied the ball game. A uh, base hit scores two probably, or up three one. Uh, but there are a variety of ways to score. But uh, uh, popping up on a ball out of the zone isn't isn't good hitting in that situation. And then we struck out, uh, and then as we let went to the fourth, uh, they got runners on and and they executed a bunt. We commit an error there, don't field it, and you know we tried taking a timeout and a trip to the mound to you know change tempo, rhythm, break rhythm. But, uh, and then Simon, uh, uh, Simon got better. You know, every game I scouted, I went through all his stuff. You know, I figured we'd need to uh, probably score four or five to win. And if we had to score more than five, we might be in trouble. Uh, because he hasn't given much up all year. He's a command and control guy. We told the guys he's, he's not going to walk us. He's going to attack the zone with multiple pitches. And he did. And he got better as the game went along. I didn't think he tired at all. Uh, I thought we had an opportunity in the middle, you know, five, five six, uh, you know, we needed to make a run right there, and we, and we couldn't get it done. He induced ground balls, fly balls, whatever.